Ronnie, you know, we usually typically ask you about your health and how you're feeling. I mean, is this year so much different than maybe the past couple of years? How, how, how big the difference is for you? A big difference, you know, be able to go through full off season healthy, um, being able to build and really, uh, you know, build off what I did last season and just get better. I, I really feel a, a big difference from the last couple of years. Ronnie, you, you, were, you were certainly one of those at the end of last year who said, I expect Lamar to be back. I want Lamar to be able to be back. How exciting was it the day that it actually happened? And I mean, is, is it a, just kind of a joy to have him here? Oh, it's great having him here. And, you know, I, I was just kind of having blind confidence in the whole thing. You know, I was kind of, you know, just confident that he would be back because that's my guy. And, you know, uh, everything worked out the way I thought it would. And, uh, you know, I was super happy, super stoked. And, you know, uh, saw him for the first time uh, yesterday and, you know, being able to congratulate him, just hang out with him. You know, it's it's really good feeling just to have him back, know he's going to be here. Ronnie, as you get on the field and, and dive into this new offense, um, what are your first impressions and how different do you expect it to be? Uh, I mean, I don't expect it to be too different in the sense of, you know, the things that we do, at least from offensive line perspective. But um, I do like what, what I see and, you know, the the concepts and the schemes and, you know, everyone working together and just the mentality behind the offense and really focus on the uh, execution. And I think uh, Todd Munkin has really done a great job of just, you know, getting us all together focused on the same thing. Ronnie, how has your offseason changed? What has been, as far as preparation standpoint, how have you been able to do it differently when you don't have to focus on uh, rehabbing a major injury? Right, yeah, so majority of my time, you know, past couple years have been spent on rehab but you know 80 percent of that off-season time probably and 20 percent on training so been able to really put most of my time on training and building and uh, getting stronger getting more endurance uh, and you know just becoming an overall better athlete uh, has been a big difference for me is this as good as you felt and how, how long did you say yeah i think this is good as i felt since you know 2019 preseason 2020. ronnie how exciting is it to kind of piggybacking off that to be able to start this year healthy and hopefully be able to play a full season. Yeah, I'm very, you know, thankful for the opportunity to be able to, you know, come into the season healthy. And I definitely don't take it for granted knowing, you know, the past couple of years how hard it is just to, you know, get back in the game. So to be able to, you know, kind of start a whole new season, you know, feeling good is um, I'm very thankful for. What will be your role, Ronnie, when they figure out who's going to play next to you? That's big hole this year left guard? Uh, whoever it is, it's just help them as much as I can and just, you know, conti continue to try to uh, be a leader and uh, do my best to help help the players around me be better. Without saying a name, do you have somebody in mind that you think you would? You know, I've only been back a day, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of good guys out there, but, you know, we've had guys around that I know that can play, um, that I've played with. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot of names out there that, are, uh, that can fit the bill. Ronnie, Harbaugh talked yesterday about how they came down and talked to you guys on Monday about the gambling rules. Obviously, there have been a lot of headlines about that you know, in the last few months. As a player, do you feel like there's any lack of clarity as to what you guys can do and can't do? And is that something that concerns you at all? Or, or do you think it's? No, I don't think it concerns me. I think um, you know there might be a lack of clarity, but I don't think so because you know all the different rules between gambling and all the different sites, fantasy and all that. So I think guys, especially in the newer generation, probably get a little bit you know, more confused about what they can and can't do. But um, I know the league and PA are, you know, they try to have these meetings to make sure that we have a full understanding of, you know, the things that we can and can't gamble on. Ron, you mentioned that, you know, it's nice not having to focus on rehab. That said, what are you most focused on um, in terms of going into the season, particular areas of your game? Obviously, overall, you're trying to remember, but what are the biggest areas of focus for you? Uh, for me, I think just trying to become the best athlete I can and just really feeling like um, my athletic ability, uh, pre-injury, uh, trying to match up with that and be even better. And also just technique wise, just always trying to hone in on that. That's always one of my biggest focuses is making sure my technique is, is um, you know, on point. So I would say that being the best athlete I can and just really focusing on just honing in my technique. The reason why you didn't want to go to OTAs the normal I've done that since. Oh, 2019, 2020. This is my normal routine, and I just feel like, you know, I like to work on things that I think build me personally as an athlete. And, you know, I like to do a lot of work, like in the sand, um, 
you know, stuff low, low joint impact stuff, whereas, you know, football is going to be high joint impact stuff. So I really try to, um, you know, kind of split that time of stuff off my joints. Ron, do you, do you, do you feel like you were at maybe like last year after coming back? Do you feel like you were playing back to that 2019 level? I mean, everyone talks about your 2019 season. Do you think by last year towards the middle or late of the season, you were back to that, that same level? You know, I, I, it's hard for me to tell, but, you know, in my head, I don't think I will be until I'm, you know, like I said, I feel confident in just the way I move, and it kind of feels the same to me. But I think production-wise, it, it was fine, I think. You know, no one was really upset about that. But uh, for the standard I have for myself, I, I do want to be better. So would you ever get back together? I think so, and, I've, and I really feel after this offseason, uh, my confidence level that I will get back and, you know, further than that level is, has gone up because, you know, just the things I've been able to work on and really build, um, you know, through the off season. Ronnie, how have you adjusted to new offensive coordinator Tom Office coaching style? We hear him a lot more than probably coaches in years past. How have you adjusted to playing under him? Oh, I love it. You know, he's just, he's just a real guy. And, um, and I, I really believe that we have the same beliefs and mentality when it comes to, you know, what makes a successful offense. And um, he's all about the details. He's detail oriented, focused on the execution. I, I really think he's focused on the right things and getting everyone to think about the things that um, how he thinks about it. And I think he's doing everything the right way. Thanks, Ronnie. Cool. Thank you, Ronnie.